wifey qualities do you have and bring to a relationship? Uh, speak into the mic and answer that for me. Go ahead. I mean, I guess it would have to depend who I would be with. Wait, you have kids, right? I do have kids. That's a red flag. I, I have twins. <laughs> that's actually. a red flag. It's not a red flag. No, that's a huge I mean, red it flag. It depends if the guy likes kids, I guess. But you're not dating no, the kids. You're dating no, kids. no, 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 stop, no, no, stop. no, no, no. I mean, like he said, I mean, uh, I think you said it. That way you date somebody for the future, right? So when you're dating somebody, you're looking for the future. So I'm picturing myself with him and my kids and maybe a, possibly a kid with him. So I'm not just dating to just date around. You know what I mean? Yeah. For that, then I'm a 40, you know, my count. Yeah. No, but for that, I have kids. So I have to, I'm not just thinking of myself now. You know, I'm not like a little Can girl anymore. Kids? Can he have kids? Yeah. But that's a huge red flag. I don't go oh. for guys. Oh. 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 I don't go for guys. Oh. Oh. Kids. Oh. 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 kids. That's what? why. Okay. That's what? why. But I will. I, Wait, I, I like highly doubt that. I want to know why. I hear that. Why? Because baby mamas are a lot to deal with. That's not a, I mean, no. what? So you don't think uh, baby daddies are allowed to? What are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? Don't shoot you there, crazy what? baby mama. The baby daddy don't shoot the you. the mother yeah. of his child, not a baby mama. This terminology is so getting you're crazy. Con- so you consider a baby mama to somebody. Someone bring no, you No, I'm the mother of his child. No, no, that's no. That's no, what no, I mean. Yeah, somebody yeah, watching this right now. I mean, that's why. Someone need to move this right now. I take care. I take care of both of those children for five years myself. I am mom and dad. All right, we'll come back to that real quick. So, uh, what qualities do you bring oh, you a in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are the qualities that you bring? Uh, like I said, it depends who I'm with. It depends like, who you are. Yeah. Okay, uh, shout out to Amanda too, man, by the way. Uh, what qualities do you bring? Wifey material. My loyalty, my mm, hustle. Mm, because if <clears throat> if he has a, a business, for sure he's going to have his girlfriend. So support, by, not hustler. Support, mm. yeah. I mean, yeah, in whatever aspect I can support him, I okay. will support him. You got that means you got to cook and clean, like that's supporting. Yeah. You said as you would a do that wife, earlier. as a wife. He's so saying, not as a girlfriend. The, the question on, okay, is as a on. wife. Have you ever have, have you no no? The question is a wife wifey material. A wifey material. Wifey material. Okay, so on, a right. wifey material is not a wife. It's somebody that it's potentially to be a wife. Right. Okay, yeah. Potential, so, I can so, do that. So what so we're saying is, what do you do right now? That may make you a wife. Correct. Like, what do you do right now? Like every day, like, what's the wifey type she did? Go to the club, you. be an independent woman. You know, mm, have businesses. No. No. Hold on, listen. listen you, have you ever been married? She no. doesn't even understand. Hold on, hold on. Listen, hold on. Have you ever been married? No. So that means you've never shown anybody the wifey material. Yeah, you don't even know right. what it is. You don't even know how. Do you to even do know that's what why it I'm, is. But I, I, I turn on some gauge, though. Some what? So, so, you, okay, so she turned down an engagement. Yeah. Okay. But, but I know I, I'm. I I don't think I'm wifey material. No, she she would cook. Okay. All right. Cool. Was on, uh, was... What what wifey material uh, qualities do you bring to the table? I cook. I clean. I take care of my man. I give him support. I'm his best friend. I'm his rock. Okay. There you I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm 100 with him. That's I'm a good answer. I'm, I'm okay. Be a wife, regardless whether it's on paper or not. Like that's why I'm a fiance. Okay. Uh, what about you? I could say a couple of the same things that she said. Also bringing honesty. I'm not a totally dumb person so i can bring some good points to the table if you ever need anything like that taking care of the kids when that comes around cook and clean and you know but as a girlfriend no. taking care of kids yo like- if this dude like he's feeling me and i'm feeling him of course, because I mean, usually that comes naturally to a woman. Right, right. She want to fold his shit. She right. want to like make his bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? That comes naturally if you really fuck to, to somebody. a good woman. I mean, to they, they attack woman. me because I say I'm not going to do like wifey stuff exactly. as a girl stuff, as a girlfriend. It's, it's, so that's what why reason do I have that. to argue? you? What am I going to tell he's, She's saying like taking care of the kids. Like, that, no, that's she said taking care of the kids when that comes around. Yeah. Yes. So it's not it's technically. Listen, right. hold on. Uh, yo, she is about to be a wife, right? She's engaged because she probably showed those wifey material qualities to her man. Uh, now I want to get back to something you said, right? Um, yo, listen, as a, as a guy, a single mother is a huge turnoff for me, huge turnoff. And, and the reason why I would say that is because you have to be very careful. Correct. You're not just That's living for you. You're living for your kids. Right. Right. But, um, Men are gonna come around and pretend that they want to be dad yeah, to no. your kids because they just want to fuck. Yeah, no, and no man that I've dated so far since I left the father of my kids has met my kids. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, uh, one more thing: um, a guy with kids typically is not a red flag; they're actually a green flag. Well, to me, it's a red flag. Okay, but I don't want to deal with and, the other side of him. Well, so why should he deal with the other side well, of that's you? What, that's what I choose. I said, 
that I don't I just don't like men. That don't be a hypocrite. I, I see. I, I like, think it's I a know. green flag to me. I was gonna say because if he's taking care of a person already, he could probably take care of you. Yeah. 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 But if I'm already who... taking care of too, I mean, I can probably take care of him. But what are you, what do you, you want? Like care of him at your parents' what? house? You why would you want to take care of a man? Why would my parents do that? I need to say you're taking care of him in your parents' house. But you're doing it in your parents' house, so it's not like I'm not doing. My house is really big. I have six bedrooms, to be honest. So I have half of the half of the house to my side, and I pay rent in my house in my parents' house. It's not like I'm living there rent free. But you don't work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still get child support. Okay. So your man's paying rent. Okay. So so you don't pay the rent then? You just said you pay to live there. You say you pay to live there. Oh, you pay one bill. Yeah, you live off child support. Those are my parents. I don't live off child support because I just quit my job. So you're living off child support for two years. So I'm sorry. Weed. So you're living off child support? No, I'm not living off child support because child support cannot pay what you live off of. They can't even support one of my child, one of my children. Okay. Okay, okay that's hold that's on. Like, so guys, let me ask yeah. you a question. Get, like, Out of all the girls on the panel, yeah. who do you think is the most Where wifey? Oh, we start from you, bro. Goodbye. Who's that's the yeah. most wifey on the panel? Goodbye. <laughs> uh, damn. I say all right, right here in green. Okay, so what about you, bro? I feel like, yeah, great. I ain't gonna lie. Shut in the green? Like, All right, what about you, bro? Unless she lied about her body count. I'm gonna be honest, though. Even if she did, you could just tell where her energy is. I think Jen, I think Jen gets like, kicked out of all the guys. Yeah, yeah. Her. yeah she's like, yeah. yeah. Jen is always you know what? She get that validation. I know that I'm a good woman, and I can be a good woman. So they just... Why are you single? Why am I single? Because the man that I want to... What? She, she said the men that, that I want don't want me. Yeah. She's still trying to Drake Drake and them. You know what I'm saying? She's but Drake but no, no, no. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm single right now because I know what I want. I want to be able to acquire a high value man. So I'm putting in that work for myself. I'm going to the gym, eating good, you know, getting my finances right for myself at least, so I don't have to bring problems to this relationship, whatever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I'm single, because I'm working on myself. Right? Okay. Oh, shout out to you, man. Uh, back to you. <laughs> Are you going to plan on uh, going back to work or how is that going to work? Yeah, I actually just quit my Speaking job. To the, I actually the just quit my job from being a manager at Truly. Why Truly is quit? a horrible oh dispensary. Okay. It's horrible. Yeah, horrible. Yeah, horrible. Not... I go to Grow Hood. Sorry, too, I'm sorry. I had to say it. It's yeah, horrible. But why horrible. you quit? You have a, a whole kid at home. Why did I quit? You have two kids. Yeah, because I wanted to go back to school. I want to become a police officer. So I'm studying that now. <laughs> You're 28. I am 28. You have until 35. Yeah, but my, like, you have my, two kids. Uh, but yeah, like you can't be doing shit like that. My father-in-law is a uh, bomb squad of Doral, so he okay. really wants me to do it. Okay. Or did yeah. you want to do it? I really want to do it also, yeah. So he has bomb like squad. the connections. Yeah, bomb squad. All right, cool. He's been in it for like almost 35 years. Okay, shout out to you, man. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> Damn, this is a, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry. Because like... <laughs> That's that's a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. No, my my life is crazy. Yeah, no, for sure. A lot. I mean, because you quit your job, day. and the only reason, like, imagine, like, most guys don't have their parents to fall back on. Oh no, my parents are my best friends. Those are literally my. my do you think my they're enabling team. you, or do you think they're helping you? They're definitely both. I would say both. Yeah. yeah. Because they help me a lot with my children. I yeah. don't have any other help. And you're so, living in their house. Yeah, and I'm living in their house. Correct. Yeah. But what, they, what I I got this house with them, so they can help me with my kids. So before they, living, the mic, please. before they were living in Doral, so they had their own house. And then we got a house when I left the father of my kids. Okay. And the house is for my kids, basically. That's what they said. Got you. Let me ask you a question. And my parents. Why, why, why did you and your ex break up? The father of your kids? Um, He cheated on me. Okay. With some girl on Instagram that used to comment family goals on my pictures. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Speaking to the mic. And what I'll say is. <laughs> that's deep. That's deep, right? That's yeah. Mommy has a kid. That's what Instagram will do for you. Listen, hold on. That's so what Instagram let, me, yeah. let me ask you a serious question. Okay? Yeah, serious. So yeah, your your ex cheated on you, correct? Correct. Okay, cool. So what you decided to do was leave a relationship. No, no, no. We played the cheating game. Hold on. Okay. Back and forth. Okay, hear me oh, out. Wow. Yeah. Hear me oh. out. Okay, I didn't even. That's even worse. Oh. That is worse. So, so hear me out. Hear me out. So Which you one? so you left the relationship where the father of your kids was at least in, in their lives. In their right? lives, yeah. For Hold the on, two, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. So so he was in their lives, right? And you 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 gotta understand, you took by leaving him, you also took 
them away from absolutely from not because yes, he ha- also had connection with me at any time. But I'm saying is now you guys he are, left. not he what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you had to move into your parents' house. Now you guys aren't living together. Right. I have two kids. Right. Like I know how that goes. I my kids are back in Baltimore. You know what I mean? They're in Maryland. So I'm in Miami. I can't sit here and be like, oh, well, I'm still being like a, a present father. I, am I finan- financing them? Yes. But that doesn't mean I'm there physically. You know what I mean? So you went into the dating market, right? You're single now. You're right. a single mother. You're at a huge disadvantage, right? You're also getting older. You're outside your prime. Guys yeah, don't... I don't really... I, I'm gonna guys, listen, guys, guys aren't looking for... But eventually you will. So when are you going to start looking for a man? When you're 30? I don't... It doesn't when, make any sense. Me, okay, no, that's not how it's going to work, okay? <laughs> well, this isn't Disney. This isn't Disney. So then you're going into the dating market now, and you're going to start dating guys that aren't going to really like you, right? Guys like if I asked all of them, they, they probably wouldn't want to date a single mother, if I'm being honest. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, but then you're going into guys that are going to cheat on you anyways. Correct. They're going to they're gonna cheat on you anyways. Right, that's why I haven't dated so, in five So years. why not stay with a guy that at least is going to be a father to your kids? And I mean, I'm assuming he was at least providing in some some, no, some type of capacity, never, right? Never, never. Okay, so he never provided. Okay. But he's paying child support His now. His mom. Okay. Want me to be any more honest? Okay, but, but aren't your parents providing for you? No, Wait, but he's I mom just... squad and he's still talking to his yeah, mom. Yeah, his mom. Money? Oh yeah, he's off. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, bro. He's off the shit. Uh, that, that doesn't make shit. any his sense. His mom pays everything. Oh, everything. So, so, so you don't bet your guys. So you don't bet your guys. I can believe it. I believe it. It's, it's okay, literally so, okay. so embarrassing. But, but guys, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the guys. It sounds, then, like, okay? it sounds so, like his mom is handling his finances. No, it is. His mom is dad. His so, mom okay, is basically so dad. But does it finances. does it make sense for you to leave him? Yeah, right? he cheated on and, me with and, some girl. And then what go into the about? dating market where you're going to get, again, you're going to get cheated on anyways. No, but I haven't dated, so it's fine. Okay. All right. You've been t- t- you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Well, okay. Like, so, okay. You know what I mean? Listen, I speak into the mic. I haven't, I have, no man has introduced, like, been introduced to my children's I, I lives. Know, that's good. I'm proud or of Or my parents' lives, like, just me. So until I feel comfortable with a man to bring him around, then okay, I'll, I get your point. I get where you're going. Yeah. That I'm taking it away from him being a father figure. Not just right? that. What I'm saying, you're putting yourself. My dad, perfect. You're He's putting fine. yourself at a huge disadvantage because nobody's gonna want you. Well, number That's one, because you're getting older. You're a single mother, right? And if I'm being honest, like the way men look at you is you're you're used goods. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like like men typically don't like. My, I have sisters. Nice. They all they all have kids, and they're all married. Now, if they got divorced, I look at them and be like, "You're fucking stupid. You have a guy that's providing for you." Okay, cool. He's like, one of my sisters called me uh, last year, right? She's super Christian. She called me crying. She was like, oh, mom, he's cheating on me. I'm like, the dude was watching porn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but like, uh, would you would you leave a secure situation to go back into the dating market where you're going to get used and abused and your kids are probably at risk too when you could have just stayed with the guy? It's, it's, yeah, it it kind of ties into, it, the, it like, ties situation into like marriages. Toxic. Or maybe you, know, you could stay and hope that he changes. Really though, maybe. It was like, you know, you getting physical. Stay and hope that he changes. So like, why would I want to stay there? So like my kids are, you know, feeling everything that I'm feeling. You know, they're getting very like nervous because we're screaming and fighting in front of them, you know? Well, that so like for thing. that, I wouldn't want to argue in front of them. And be, okay. You know, my kids to see that. Uh, guys, do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Like, what, like, I, what feel like, I feel like once you get to that stage in your life where especially with kids i feel like that's when therapy comes in yeah for sure i love therapy but the thing is look like what he's trying to get at is (laughs) you might be an amazing mom and everything yeah but this is the reason why there's a lot of single parents and fathers aren't in their lives i have two sons myself you feel me and they're back home in new york so i try to be there as much as i can can i say something i feel like what he's getting at is now my son's mom's it's going to be harder for them to get in a relationship with somebody because of how much work they do. We're not taking away on how much work you do to your kids and stuff like that. But then now whoever comes to get you, Has you know what I'm saying? Of my, yeah. However attractive you might be to them, they're going to end up cheating on you too. Yeah. Is what they're saying. They will, bro. Yeah. They will. And you can't put them first. That's what it comes yeah, thing is, you're yeah. getting You're getting at an age now where it's not as easy for you to pick up guys. Like yeah. at, at the end of the day, you're still going to be able to pick up more guys than the average guy is going to be able to pick up girls because you're you're a woman at the end of the day but for you to pick up a guy that's potential for you for your future is getting is declining yeah and i would say he he has a good point the guy will never be first because most mothers will always put their kids first facts and he might cheat on you because he's not first like if i, I always bring this example up, but we're like i watch a lot of documentaries and the first thing that lions do when they take over a pride is they kill the babies for sure there's a reason why they do that shit <laughs> 
first thing. That's the first that's the first thing you do because no. number one you do them kids. <laughs> so, uh, number one you don't want to raise someone else's kid men will look men will tell you whatever you want to hear but i'm telling you as a man i don't want to raise nobody else's kid yeah. that's someone someone else's come went inside you you had a kid with them and i gotta raise that shit you know what i mean like that that's very that, like you, you the woman has to be very valuable for for a man to want to do that shit very okay rare. very rare okay number two um it's like he said now, like even I, I didn't even know that situation about you, but even me, like I, I'm always like I face on my kids every day because I'm always like I want to make sure they're good. Like I want, and me and their mother, luckily, we have a really good understanding. Same thing. Like, yo, no one can meet at, at least a year because I understand that men will filter themselves out. Yeah. Some guys won't even last a month. And then the guys that are very persistent, they may last six months, but they ain't going to last a year. OK, um, but I would say you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. Also, I think that because you you do look pretty attractive, at least from what I can see, is that you you probably benefit from pretty privilege. So you think men are always going to come around. But once you hit 30, I'm telling you, men are always looking for younger women, especially when they don't have kids, especially when they don't have kids. So uh, it's, it's unfortunate. But, yeah, the, the right guy is not just going to come and find you. And at the end of the day, he's going to cheat. And he's still gonna yeah, cheat. Yeah, facts. But if, he, if, he do, if you do get a solid guy too, that's the thing. You already said that you don't want a guy that comes with kids. Yes, the yeah. solid guy that you're gonna I, gut, I, I, I guarantee yes, you he's gonna have kids. No kids. Yeah, they're they're accepting the fact that man has kids. Yes, Sanya's man has no kids and he's raising her daughter. Okay, but that's yeah, my situation rare. is different. It's yeah. rare. Like he's just been. That's a rare situation. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. You should go get your man back. Mom Squad doesn't no. seem too bad. Yeah, he got to give you a job. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 